Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing my favorite concealers with you. I gathered up all of my concealers that I use all the time. I feel like I use a lot of concealers like in rotation. My absolute favorites that I wanted to share with you. I feel like there's more than like seven, so hang tight. I love doing videos like this where I break down each category. So if you wanna see any other videos like this, I have a playlist on my channel where I share foundations and a bunch of other categories. First one, which is totally an underrated concealer and I talked about it in a favorites video or an empties video. I love this. I wish it was a full size, like just this alone because it's the only side that I use. It's the Butter London Lumi Matte Two-in-One Concealer. I only use this side and it's pretty small, but I think this covers so well. This was featured in an empties and I have yet to throw it out because there's like a scraping that I can get out of this, but it is beautiful. It matches me to the T. If I have to like pop it on under my eyes before I go to like the gym or something, if like my bags are really crazy that day, it's like undetectable. It's so gorgeous. It's more of like a natural to medium kind of coverage and it just looks so seamless on the skin. I would highly recommend it. Butter London, don't sleep on it. So it's safe to say I need another one of these like ASAP. I need to go run to Walmart right now. The e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer is my absolute favorite. It is my holy grail if you guys can see that. I have nothing left in them. Covers so well. It is the most beautiful natural concealer with the best coverage, especially for drugstore, like $6. You cannot beat this. It is amazing. The Doe Foot applicator on it literally covers everything. A little bit more of that jumbo applicator, but I think fits perfectly on the under eyes, distributes it beautifully, and gives the under eyes such a beautiful look. Of course, you can apply concealer in this area to brighten. You can do it right over here to brighten. You can do it underneath your contour. You can use these actually as contour sticks if you would like in a deeper shade. So you really have full range of how you want to use them. I just love the coverage of it. Personally, I like more of a hydrated under eye. It just keeps the under eye looking its best. I'm obsessed. Like there's really nothing left to say. Uh, for a drugstore concealer, I think it is literally the best. They're so creamy and it's still buildable while giving you enough coverage with the initial application, but you can definitely build on top of it. Next concealer is gonna be from NARS, and this is the Soft Matte Concealer. This is more of the pot concealer, so it's a compacted cream base concealer. So I like to use this one in about three to four different ways. The first way being as an eyeshadow base. I think it is a perfect eyeshadow base. It is the most perfect texture and formula. It's not too thick and too stiff, but it's also not runny, obviously. So you're definitely getting a really nice base with this. You can, of course, use this on your under eyes, which is gorgeous. It's gonna give you more of that high coverage, like camouflaged look on your under eyes. It's a little bit more on the fuller side, so medium to full, I would say. I only use this like sparingly on my under eyes. I don't like to go super crazy with it. And then if I'm gonna use it on a breakout, I think it works phenomenal. Like it covers the breakout so well. You can really control how much you're using with this, which I love. And then I also carve out my brows with this concealer. It is one of the best to carve out the eyebrows. It just gives such a seamless, natural look, but also like airbrushed in a way. And it is a matte concealer, but it's more of like that soft mattified look. So it's really pretty and still gives like your skin but better kind of look, but a little bit more perfected and a little bit more like filter like. I think it glides on the skin so so effortless and of course when it comes to using more of like a matte or a soft kind of finish to a concealer or a foundation I always make sure that my skin is super hydrated underneath so it's not going to be like pulling and tugging. Either way I don't think you look dry with this at all but I do like to use this more so on the other areas as opposed to just under my eyes. You guys know me and know my channel you know that the NARS Natural Radiant and the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation are my two favorite favorite foundations. When I use that my skin looks the best so I do love this. So next up I have Haley Beauty's concealers. These are their rewind concealers. These are so good. They're the blurring full coverage concealers. I absolutely love this. It comes on a metal applicator, which is definitely a plus. It feels so cooling on the under eyes and just goes on so effortless. It's very hydrating. Still giving you that full coverage look while being a really nice skin-like look like you don't look like you have a ton of concealer on which is the goal like when I apply concealer I don't want it to look like I have on so much concealer it just makes my under eyes look more droopy and like the fine lines just intensified times 10 so I totally like to keep a thin amount of concealer I think less is more everything on my under eye vanishes it just looks like a filter under my eyes which 
I love that look. And of course, if I'm doing more of like a skin-like, you know, every day running out of the house really quick look, I will not add as much. A little bit goes a long way with this one regardless, so you don't need a lot. And these do dry down matte, which I find so incredible because when it's on, it doesn't look like it's matte. It just looks like it's a soft, like pretty finish. I don't feel like they're matte to the point where it's like drying and heavy. I totally feel like it goes on so seamless and so natural, like giving you still that luminosity, but also enough where it's covering, you know? I absolutely love these. They're fragrant free so you can't beat it also cruelty free and I love that I do rotate between all of these like I said but these are definitely one of my faves this one is a new concealer for me I actually just started using this last week but honestly within the first application I knew right then and there that it was seriously amazing and I couldn't get over the finish the way that it just looked on my under eyes it gave such a nice blurring under eye while still being very hydrating which I was kind of shocked by this is the Dominique cosmetics concealer I love this I have Jasmine to thank for getting me on this because the second I tried it I knew instantly I was like oh my gosh is this what this is doing right now like this looks so incredible I definitely need to go repurchase another one like pronto this also has a metal applicator at the top as well so it's really cooling on the under eyes feels really nice it is a little bit more on the full coverage end while still being able to be buildable but looking hydrating so you're getting the best of both worlds with this like you're getting the hydrated feel also getting that full coverage look and i think just literally masks everything so well imperfections who what where like where'd they go sometimes with other concealers i have to like build on top of it or use another one and blend with it but this i'm telling you like i just used it last week so i was kind of iffy to put it in here but no like i used it today and i'm obsessed with my under eyes sometimes i'll have more of like an intensified little like darker spot right here but this girl, this helped me so much. It's in the shade Frappuccino, and I'm literally ordering another one right now. Next up is gonna be more of a drugstore version. It's gonna be the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. My bottle is a little dirty, so sorry about that, but I love this. I love the formula, I love the feel. I think that is a beautiful finish, and also gives like a lot of coverage. And I know that drugstore products are definitely stepping up their game, and their pigment is pretty much just like high ends nowadays. The actual formula, like there's a lot of dupes out there. I love the way that it applies, I love the way that it looks. It's very very long wearing and I think it really conceals so much doesn't give any type of like white cast doesn't give any type of like cakey look or creases or anything I do have creases under my eyes so when I use a concealer of course that is going to crease it's not the product doing it it's just my under eyes there are ways to help that by not adding a ton of product and not adding a super thick coverage kind of product you know but I totally feel like this definitely gives the illusion that there's nothing there, which is literally incredible. And I love the wands on it as well. It fits perfect on the under eyes, blends everything out so nice. And it glides on the skin amazing. So I would so recommend this if you haven't tried it. Next up, I have Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. This has been my baby for literally three or four years. I absolutely love it. Lightweight skin-like concealer, and it is so gorgeous. Again, really love the applicator on here. It is a doe foot. It's really easy to maneuver on the under eyes. It doesn't like crease up and make any weird lines or anything appear weird under my eyes or anywhere I apply it. I do like to do this one on just my under eyes. Sometimes, just sometimes, I'll apply it on a breakout. Definitely feel like it doesn't cover a breakout as well as my other ones. It's very like luminous while being skin-like, but also medium to full coverage. So I love it. I think it is seriously gorgeous and it's pretty much like flawless like the name flawless fusion it is definitely a flawless finish and with any powder over top of it my under eyes look so seamless beautiful for that everyday kind of makeup look or if you want to use it in a full coverage makeup look it is gorgeous for that as well but this is so great for the everyday a little bit more of a full coverage concealer which is more on the high end side as well is the hourglass it gives you more of like that mattified under eye i like to use this one in particular to kind of give me a little bit of a brightening on my under eyes i'm not a major fan of brightening the under eyes a ton with concealer with powder that's a different story Story. but with concealer I don't like to go too crazy this one I like to pop in like kind of in this area just to give a little bit more of a brightening effect and that is because of the shade I picked up was a little bit wrong for me but the actual formula of this concealer is gorgeous for the under eyes such a seamless and airbrush look and very like effortless a little bit goes a long way with this one honestly any concealer a little bit will go a long way this one I feel like gives more of like a perfected kind of under eye and I think it blends out so well this is definitely one that I rotate in between I don't use this a ton a ton but I still love it so I had to pop it in so my last concealer that I want to talk about today is the NYX bear with me concealer this is the concealer serum it is literally one of the best concealers that I've tried from the drugstore I know I talked about the other ones but this one totally is like a serum on your skin while covering up darkness while covering up an imperfection a blemish like it still gives the radiance and luminosity to your skin while covering up so well it just feels like you're applying a skincare product 
but it's also giving you that coverage, which is insane. Literally so obsessed, it is my second one. There's also skin loving ingredients in it as well, so it just blends on the skin so nice. It's very lightweight and just looks like a really nice glow to your skin. Overall, I really love it and I know I'm gonna be back to pick up another one. If you have not tried it yet, go try it. You will not be disappointed. Looking for more of like that healthy, like glowing skin with skin loving ingredients, that is a really great one to try out. And of course, we love NYX, so. So those are all my concealers that I'm gonna share with you guys today that I absolutely love. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, found it a little helpful. Let me know what your all-time favorite concealer is or let me know which ones you guys are loving in the comments, I would love to hear. And I'll also have all these products for you listed in the description box, like always. And I will see you in my next video.